welcome uh, viewers to our Igno Regional Center Cochin Facebook live session. Uh, today we are organizing this live session focusing on the continuing education uh, for the a specified group of uh, people that is for the chartered accountants, cost accountants, uh, company secretaries and management professionals uh, in view of the ongoing July 2021 admissions that is being done by the university. So thank you for joining in with us for this live session. I will detail the various programs that we have on offer in this regard, which would be of benefit for our viewers. But to begin with, uh, let me tell you a little about this university. Indira Gandhi National Open University, IPNA, was established way back in the year 1985 by an act of parliament. It is a central university offering programs primarily in the open and distance education mode. IGNO was established with certain set clear objectives. These are, that is to democratize higher education by taking it to the doorsteps of learners. IGNO provides access to high quality education to all who seek it irrespective of the barriers such as age, region, religion, and gender. The programs, if you look at the programs that IGNO offers, these are need-based academic programs, and they are so developed by giving a professional and, and vocational orientation to these uh, courses. And IGNO is also for the promotion and development of distance education in the country. So let me give you some details about the major, major achievements of this mega university. IGNO has emerged as the lar largest open university in the world. IGNO has this honor of being recognized as a center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning or the CON. IGNO was awarded the Award of Excellence for Distance Education Material by the Commonwealth of Learning. IGNO also gives a lot of importance to the media or the multimedia component and IGNO has this 24 hour long uh, series of 24 hour educational channels and the Gyan Darshan. IGNO is the nodal agency for these channels and regular transmissions are done from the studios at the Electronic Media and Production Center, the EMPC at IGNO headquarters, New Delhi. Now, with regard to the enrollment in this university, it has reached 3 million. UNESCO in the year 2010 declared IGNO as the largest institute of higher learning in the world. IGNO has the largest network of learning support systems, learner support systems across the country and beyond to cater to the requirements of the potential learners across. IGNO has also been awarded or accredited with the highest A++ grade by the NAC. So these are the major <coughs> excuse me, major developments or uh, achievements of this university. <coughs> now coming to the programs that IGNO is offering. The programs that IGNO offers are to the 21 schools of studies. And this particular session that we have devoted is for those programs which are under the School of Management Studies. I'll come to that very soon. If you look at the learner, uh, the programs that IGNO offers, all the programs that IGNO has developed and designed and is offering is towards fulfilling certain learners' needs. These needs could be certification, that's a need for certification for the learner, and it could be improvement of their skills. Some of the programs, if, if you look at IGNO programs, these are primarily to improve the skills of the learners. A number of IGNO programs are towards acquisition of professional qualifications by those who are interested in those qualifications. And a number of programs are for continuing education and professional development at the workplace so that they are able to grow further and have vertical progression at the, work, at the workplace. Self-enrichment 
Yes, that is also one of the learner needs that IGNO program is catering to. Apart from that, diversification updating of knowledge by the learners is possible by enrolling through IGNO programs. And yes, of course, empowerment by way of uh, enrolling and successfully completing their IGNO programs. So if you look at all the programs that IGNO is offering, it is set towards meeting these learner needs. Now let me briefly tell you about IGNO Regional Center Coaching from where we are hosting this live session for you. IGNO Regional Center Coaching is for providing open and distance education in the region under its ju jurisdiction, which includes the six districts of Kerala, namely Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura, and the Union Territory of Lakshadi. And the programs that IGNO is offering here are range from the certificate level program, diploma, postgraduate diploma, bachelor, and the master's level program. So that was about regional center coaching. And here, coming specifically to the July 2021 ongoing admission cycle, programs offered, as I just mentioned, are across a range of levels of programs, ranging from the certificate level program to the postgraduate degree programs. Now let me focus on this particular area which we have uh, taken up for this session. That is about those programs which are ideally suited for the management professionals and for those who are in with, uh, pursuing some career with respect to chartered accountancy, cost accountancy or company secretaryship, etc. Now, uh, as a gist of the whole programs that you know is offering under this uh, kind of uh, area, this area, it includes the MBA program, that is the uh, Master of Business Administration. Apart from that, there is the MBA program specifically for those in the banking sector, which is called the MBA Banking and Finance. Then there are a number of specialized post-graduation diploma, post-graduate diploma in management disciplines, such as human resources, operations, marketing, financial management and financial market practices. I'll come to the details of this program. Then we have the MCOM program, then the postgraduate diploma in international business operations. At the graduation level, BCOM program comes under the commerce related programs being offered here. Then at the certificate level, there is a very uh, useful program, a short term, I would say a six month certificate level program, the minimum duration of six months. There's a certificate in business skills. And apart from all these, there are bachelor's degree programs and master's degree programs primarily for those who have chosen to take up their career either as char chartered accountants or as cost accountants or as company secretaries. I'll detail them one by one. Now let me first tell you about the Certificate in Business Skills program, that is a certificate level program. So this program uh, stipulates the eligibility or the entry level qualification as the 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. The medium of the instruction for this program is English. Now, in IGNO, since it's an open and distance education program, the duration that we specify is, is always in terms of the minimum duration and the maximum duration. Minimum duration here for this particular program, I would like to uh, tell you, is six months. And the maximum is two years, which means within two years, you can successfully complete your program in case you're not able to do it within the six months period. And this certificate program is an offer for both the sessions, the January and the July session. That is, uh, IGNO admissions, I would like to mention here, is, now is uh, being conducted or is being offered twice a year, January session and the July session. And currently, July 2021 session admissions are going on for which you we can apply or enroll now. The fee for the program is also uh, listed here on the screens for you. Now, about this program, I would like to specifically highlight that uh, those who are interested in the area of business and they want to hone their skills in, bis in, in uh, their skills with regard to the business uh, arena would be very, uh, they would be very much useful. It would be very much useful for such kind of people. And those who are into the commerce side or maybe they're pursuing their graduation, the commerce stream, this becomes allied with their uh, area of study. 
and we find that a good number of people are showing interest in this area. So I would like to highlight that this would be of an added value addition for those who are already in those sector or who are pursuing some academic programs at a higher order level also. They can take up this certificate level program that is the CBS. So coming to the bachelor's level program of the graduation, uh, here in this screen is a Bachelor of Commerce, uh, which is referred to as the BCom G program. And as you would know, the eligibility is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. And the duration for any graduation program is three years. The minimum is three years here too. And the maximum is six year period for uh, pursuing a BCom, BCom uh, degree from this university. And the fee structure also is given here across the whole year. But in case of IGNO, since we, uh, it is a learner-centric system, and it is all depending upon the convenience and flexibility of the learner, the fee also, what the student has to do is to pay it year-wise. And subsequent year, the second and third year, we call for re-registration, and the students can re-register at that point in time. So basically what I'm trying to say is that the fee payment is on a yearly basis. As from the learner point of view, this advantage I would like to uh, tell you. So this is about the uh, BCom program. Now, uh, coming to the postgraduate uh, diploma programs, uh, we have diploma programs in different streams in the management area, such as human resource management, marketing management, financial management, and operations management. And in addition, there is the PG diploma in financial market practices. This uh, particularly for those who are graduates and who are working in some, uh, uh, some uh, institution and they feel the need to enhance their competence in one of these streams of uh, management or these uh, disciplines or these areas of management, then I think this will be very useful for uh, those kind of people because while they are doing their job, on the job, they get an opportunity to have academic inputs in terms of the knowledge. Let me also uh, specify uh, what is the requirements to for you to enroll for this program. The eligibility is a graduation and this includes even chartered accountancy, cost accountancy and company secretaryship with a 50% mark requirement for the general category and for the uh, and 45% as stipulated for the reserve category and as per the government of India rules. There is no age bar as you know this open and distance education so uh, age is not a limitation here. So the ones one and one is a graduate, they can go ahead and do this program. The minimum is one year for this PG diploma program and then spread over a, or a maximum period of three years. So these five streams, PG diploma programs are on offer for the July 2021 cycle as well. Uh, another program that is a postgraduate in the diploma level program is the PGDIBO or the Postgraduate Diploma International Business Operations. The eligibility for this program, of course, is a bachelor's degree. And this program, uh, as the name indicates, would provide the learner uh, inputs in the area of international business operations. And uh, this would be of direct benefit for those people who want to gain knowledge in that area, and maybe they're working in such kind of areas. This would help them uh, greatly. Now, let me come to the MCOM program. Uh, the MCOM program uh, is a master's program, so bachelor's uh, degree holders can apply. Minimum duration is two years, and we usually in IGNO we have this modular system of, pro of programs. So therefore, uh, the PGDIBO is the uh, once a person or a learner is able to successfully complete the PGDIBO. There is also the option to go for the uh, second year for this program. So therefore, this modular. Uh, pattern of the program for PGDIB and the MCOM is also found useful for a good number of learners. So this is uh, about the MCOM program. Now uh, the MBA program, the Master of Business Administration, the MBA program is, all, is also of uh, benefit for those who are uh, working in the 
in in a, in, in a particular organization or wherever and they want to update or be a master's holder in mass in, in business administration area this is very ideal for them again the requirements is a graduate and uh, the other cri eligibility criteria uh, criteria is mentioned for this program also and uh, as per this there is one more criteria that is the clearance of the uh, open mat entrance that is uh, with regard to the mba program is entrance exam which the applicants have to go through and then they have to seek admission uh, upon qualifying the open mat uh, entrance examination this is a two year program with a minimum duration of two years and a maximum of four years so here again uh, in, in mba or program the learner gets the opportunity to choose the which stream of management uh, as a specialization they would like to go in Maybe if it is marketing, they could they would be able to do a major in, in that area. Or if it's finance, suppose somebody is working in a financial sector mm -hmm. for some years and they do not have a master's program or MBA program. So while on their job, they can do an MBA, the specialized um, specialization in the financial stream. Just to quote an instance. So that is about the uh, master of business uh, administration. The MBA program for banking and finance is specifically for those who are in the banking sector. And therefore, the eligibility stipulated is graduate from a recognized university. They should have passed the CAIIB examination of the Indian Institute of Banking and Finance, Mumbai. And that is a requirement that they have to fulfill and produce to the university when they apply for admissions. And in addition, they should have been working with the banking or financial services sector for at least a period of two years. So that is about the MBA banking and finance program, especially for those who are in the bank, in the banking and finance sector. Now let me ha highlight these uh, programs that we have specific, specifically which IGNO has for those who are uh, into the stream of chartered accountancy or cost accountancy or company secretaryship, because we know uh, those kind of people after their 10 plus two, they move into a different stream. But often they would have a desire to be a graduate or a postgraduate. And therefore, this particular need, according to that particular need itself, uh, these programs are on offer. So these are the uh, Bachelor of Commerce in three areas and similarly Master of Commerce in three areas, as you can see on the screens. I'll be detailing them next. Now coming to the BCom or the Bachelor of Commerce with major in accountancy and finance, the eligibility is 10 plus 2 or its equivalent. And in addition, some criteria is given. That is, they should have passed the Common Proficiency Test or the CPT or the PE1 or the foundation from the ICEI. That is being stipulated. In addition, they should have registered for the Professional Competence Course or the PE2 or the Intermediate or the IPCC, Chartered Accountancy, first stage of, I of ICEI, or already they should have passed the first, um, Professional Competence Course or the PE2 or the Intermediate. But this is stipulated because uh, some of the courses, actually this program, the, the learners have to do only a, some specified set of courses from IGNO. And since they already they are doing number of uh, courses under their uh, chartered accountancy institute, institution, accordingly the syllabus has been primarily built to uh, so that you know what they are covering, they need not be covered here. So that is why this eligibility also very much specific. And those who are fulfilling this uh, can enroll for this program and during the course of the uh, three years, they are able to do their uh, graduation. Similarly, we have the Bachelor of Commerce with major in financial and cost accounting. Here, uh, apart from the 10 plus 2 uh, criteria, they have to be registered in the ICA foundation course. And uh, those who have passed, so as the intermediate level, ICI are also eligible uh, for admission with the required condition of uh, having passed all the papers of the foundation course. So here, uh, the, as the criteria is stipulated, those who can join, who enroll for this, what we see is that um, by during the period of three years, as they proceed with their chartered accountancy or the cost accountancy, they're able to complete their uh, graduation. And uh, this is very useful for them because at the same time, concurrently or simultaneously, they're able to earn their degrees. So this is about uh, this uh, specifically for those who are in this area. Then again, we have a BCom uh, program that is with major in corporate affairs and administration. This is for those who are uh, who are going to, going in for the stream of uh, company secretaryship. That is ten plus two or its equivalent pass plus 
registration in the company secretaryship foundation program. And this is a minimum requirement and those who have passed the intermediate or the executive program also stipulated as being eligible for this admission. Similarly, there are master's degree programs for those who are again in this category of uh, group that is uh, once they have done their graduation and they are doing uh, they want to get in, they are doing the chartered accountancy. So such kind of people they can do this MCOM program and uh, therefore it is stipulated that the eligibility is either they, get, they are currently admitted into the chartered accountancy final course or they pass the chartered accountancy. And such graduates can, uh, can seek admission to this program. Similarly, for the cost accountants, there is Master of Commerce in Management Accountant and Financial Strategies program for uh, those people who are in this stream. Again, uh, for those with the company secretaryship uh, area, for them, graduates in any discipline or equivalent qualification, plus those who have passed the company secretaryship executive program. So those kind of people, they are uh, usually we find them interested to do a master's degree program. So that is about uh, these uh, program, all these other programs being done uh, in this area, which is of relevance for those who are in the management uh, professionals, who are uh, management professionals, or those who are with the chartered accountancy, or cost accountancy, or company secretaryship. Uh, this would be useful for them. Now, having said all about these programs, let me tell you about the admissions for July 2021. It is going on, admissions are ongoing, and the last dates uh, are being indicated in the website. You can uh, apply for this, you can visit the IGNO website at www.igno.ac.in. And there, the link, as you can see on the screens, the link is shown here. You can log in to this link, ignoadmission.summer.edu.in and you can apply, you can go through the, all the details and enroll for the program of your choice. I would also like to mention here that IGNO provides the facility of fee exemption for SCST applicants as for the specified list of uh, programs. Now, if you go to the website of the university and the particular link that I just mentioned to you, it would look, the screenshot of this is in, shown here on the screens for you. You can see here the uh, it shows about click here for new registration. So an aspirant who wants to do a program from this university has to go into this particular link, uh, go in for a new registration with, uh, with your username and you can, once you do the registration for process, then you can go subsequently and apply. Uh, put in your particulars, you can upload your call documents, uh, qualification credentials and including the fee payment, the entire process is online. So this is how this uh, uh, screen uh, shows is the way that you have to go in for admissions to the uh, July 2021 session. I would request you all to kindly visit this page and uh, process your applications for July 2021. So to summarize it, we were uh, talking about the various programs that the university is offering for the in the area of uh, interest for those who are pursuing the chartered accountancy, cost accountancy, or company secretaryship, and for those management professionals for uh, getting some kind of uh, qualification, maybe at the certificate level, uh, bachelor's or post-graduation diploma programs or the master's level program, including the MBA. That is what we have been uh, discussing now in this session. In case there are some queries that you have or you would like to know more about the programs and other details, uh, you can see on the screens the website of Regional Centre Kuchin. Apart from that, Regional Centre has its Facebook uh, through which this program is being uh, going live. And apart from that, there is a Twitter account for the Regional Centre Kuchin. So these are the details I would like to uh, share with you. And if you have any queries with regard to, to your admission processing, you can email us at rccoaching at igno.ac.in. Thank you very much, uh, viewers, for joining in for this session. I request that if you have any queries, you can place it in the chat mode. Thank you very much.